Okay, so let's continue to the next subtopic. Okay, so uh, the effect of changing a set of data to the mode mean. So remote mean and median. Okay, so the learning standard is okay. Make conclusion about the effect of changes in a set of data to value of mode mean and median. Okay. Kita tengok apa uh, effect okay, kalau kita mengubah data-data itu. Okay. So, the first one, data is changed un- uniformly. Okay. So, ni ada contoh lah. So, yang ni nanti uh, you guys uh, can read it yourself and try it yourself. Okay. Okay. So, let's look over here. A uniform change in data will result in a uniform change in values for mean, median, and mode. Okay, a uniform change of data. Okay, will result a uniform change in values for mean, median, and mode. Okay, however, if the data is changed in a non-uniform manner, the values of mean, median, and mode will also change in a non-uniform manner. Okay, apa maksud dia? Kalau uniform changes ni, contoh kita darab empat kan? Semua darab empat, darab empat, darab empat, darab empat. Ha, perubahan dia pun sama. Darab empat. Okay, kalau tak uniform, contoh tambah tiga, tambah dua, tambah lima, tambah tujuh. Ha, so, perubahan mean, median and mode pun non-uniform manner. Okay. So, now let's look at example 13. Okay. Kanang bought five types of stationery at the school cooperative, cooperasi lah, cooperasi sekolah, which cost one ringgit, two ringgit, three ringgit, three ringgit, and six ringgit respectively. Calculate the mean, median, and mode for the data. Okay, next. Okay, B. Calculate the new mean, median, and mode if the price of each stationery increased by RM2. Okay. Or is multiplied by 3. Okay. Mari kita kira. Okay, let's investigate together. Okay, so the first part. Okay, first one A. Okay, so kita ada apa tadi? RM1, 2, 3, 3, 6. Okay, so the mean. Okay, simply add all the values. So 1 plus 2. Plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 divided by how many? 5. So we get RM3. Okay, so the mean is RM3. Okay, so the median. Okay, so let's um, arrange. Okay, so this one already arranged in the ascending order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So odd number. So we take the middle one. So the median is 3 RM3. Okay, so mode, the most number that occur, okay, appear, okay, 1, 2, so RM3, so RM3, okay, so this is the original data, okay, next, B, okay, new data, okay, new data, okay, the first part, okay, apa tadi dia kata? Increase by RM2. Okay, so we have 1 plus 2 is 3, 4, 5, 5, 8. Okay, so this is the first case. Okay, 1. Okay, so the mean. Okay, 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 8. Divide by 5. So we get 5. Okay. okay, sekarang tengok sini. Okay, Apa? Kita kira dulu median So the median is RM5 Okay And the mode Is RM5 Okay now okay, Kita buat conclusion terus lah Okay Bila data asal Okay kita increase by 2 ringgit So it means Plus 2 right Okay Bila kita plus 2 Okay The new mean Okay, the new mean also plus 2. Ha, perasan tak? Kalau yang asal tadi 3 kan? 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. The same goes with the value of median. Yang asal 3. 
Okay increase by 2 ringgit jadi 5 Tambah 2 uh, Kalau mode pun sama RM3 tambah 2 uh, Nampak tak dia punya tu Okay So itu kalau kita tambah 2 Okay Apa jadi kalau kita tambah uh, apa jadi, darab 3 kan Okay so darab 3 Okay so darab 3 kita akan ada 3 6 9 9 18 Okay So mean Okay mean is 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 9 plus 18 divided by 5 So kita ada RM9 Okay Next median Tengah-tengah kita ada RM9 So mode pun RM9 Nampak tak? Okay, kalau data ni kita darab dengan 3 Daripada yang asal ni darab 3 Perubahan mean, median mode pun kita darabkan dengan 3 Okay so itulah yang dimaksudkan Dengan this one Okay This means that a uniform change in data Will result in a uniform change of values For mean, median and mode Okay boleh Okay, next kita tengok uh, Example 14 Okay Raju's scores in a Japanese quiz Are 3, 6 and 6 Okay So, calculate the mean, median and mode for the data So, original data Okay, kita kira Original data So, the mean So, mean kita ada 3 plus 6 plus 6 divided by 3 So, we get 5 Okay So, median Okay 6 mode 6 Okay, saya harap faham lah eh Kenapa median 6 dan mode 6 Median 6 sebab 6 di tengah-tengah Okay Mode 6 sebab 6 yang Paling banyak muncul Okay Next B Okay. Add the first data by 1 okay. First data by 1 So kita ada 3 plus 1 Okay Add the second data by 2 So second data tadi 6 kan 6 plus 2 And the third data by 3 So 6 plus 3 So kita ada 4 8 9 Okay So let's calculate the new mean Okay, the new mean is 4 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 3 So, we get 7 Okay Median Yang tengah-tengah Median Middle part is 8 And mode uh, No mode Okay, nampak tak? Okay So, from this example Okay, if Okay, let's look back at this word. Okay, if the changes is non-uniform manner, okay, the result also a non-uniform manner. Apa maksud non-uniform tu tadi? Uh, dia tak sama. Contoh, the first data we add by 1. The second data we add 2. The third data we add 3. So, not uniform. Okay, if the previous example, example 13, okay, semua ni kita tambah dengan nilai yang sama. We plus 3 Sorry, we plus 3 Right Okay Lebih kurang macam itulah Okay So, ni Question So far You can Ask me, okay Okay Let's move To the next Subtopic Okay I think this is the last subtopic for today Okay, in this chapter we have seven subtopic. Okay, so for today's class we try to cover three of them. Okay, so the next subtopic is organized data in frequency tables for group data. Okay, frequency table for group data. So learning standard, collect data, construct and interpret the frequency table for group data. Okay, kalau tadi adalah group data kan? So, ni adalah group data Okay, so let's Look at example 15 Okay 
So, the data on the right shows the mathematics test score for 30 Form 2 Saturn students in the mid-year examination. Organize the data in the frequency table according to classes. Okay. So, ni kita ada raw data. Okay. So, classes di sini, dia dah bagi dah marks. Okay. So, kita kena kira. Okay. From 0 until 19 ada berapa? From 20 until 39 ada berapa? And so on. Okay. Uh, so, kita kira lah. Uh, mari kita kira sama-sama. Okay. Before that, saya nak copy ni dulu. Okay, so uh, this is the raw data. Eh? So kita kena cari. Okay, so let's cari zero until nineteen. Okay, so zero until nineteen. So kita ada okay zero until nineteen. One, two. Three. Ada tiga kan? Uh, so, tally. Apa itu tally? Okay, tally ni uh, adalah uh, yang bentuk macam ni lah. Uh, okay, tally. Tally ni biasanya uh, kita panggil macam mana? Gugus ke? Apa ke nama dia? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Uh, satu tally. Bukan macam ni eh. Bukan one, two, three, four, five. Ikat. Bukan. Uh, dia macam ni. One, two, three, four, five. Ni satu ni lima nilai dia. Okay, each tally, the value is five. Okay, boleh? Okay, so kita ada tiga. So, sebab dia kurang daripada tiga kan? So, kita buat one, two, three. So, three. Okay. So, next, twenty until thirty-nine. So, twenty until thirty-nine. So, twenty until thirty-nine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there are five. Sorry, five good. Six, okay, six numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so whenever you see this symbol, so it means five. Okay, so we have six. Okay, next forty. So we calculate this one first. Okay, eighty until ninety-nine. Okay, easy for us. Okay, 80 until 99. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Sixty until sixty. Saya tukar kalau jauh lah. Sorry, this one tak nampak. Okay. 60 until 79. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we have 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Okay. Now balance day ni lah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, boleh. Okay. So this is how, okay, you convert from the raw data into group data. Ingat, group data, okay, each class, okay, it must have the interval this okay this type of interval okay so tap class okay must see at the interval interval what interval means okay 0 until 19 20 and 39 okay this is what we call as interval okay okay now let's look at example 16 okay so example 16 Sylvia interviewed 20 of her friends about the time they wake up in the morning during the school holidays. The findings from the interview are shown on the right. Okay, so this is the finding. Okay, organize the data in a frequency table according to the following classes. Okay, classes in Mila. Uh, interval ni 5 a.m. until 5.29, 5.30 until 5.59 and so on. Okay. Okay, so now let's kita isi dulu dia punya uh, frequency table. Okay, so 5 until 29, okay, actually we have 2. So 1, 2, okay, 5, 30 until 5.59, nanti cari eh. Okay, so actually we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, we have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Next, we have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the last one, we have only 1, 1. Okay. From the frequency table, answer the following question. How many students wake up between 6 to 6.29? So, 6 to 6.29 is this one. So, we have 5 students. Okay, 5 students. B. Describe the highest and lowest frequency of the time the students wake up. Okay, highest, 8, 8 from 6.30 until 6.59. And the lowest is 1 from 7 to 7.29. Okay, so kita buat ayat lah. Okay, from the frequency table. So, macam ni eh, frequency table. Okay, most of students wake up between 6.30 a.m. to 6.59 a.m. Okay. There are 8 of them. And only one student wake up between 7 a.m. To 7.29 am Ok, kita bercerita lah Kita buat cerita, ok Ok I think we still have time for the next learning standard. Okay, never mind. Okay, I think that's all for today. Okay, so I hope our paham lah apa kita belajar hari ni something new kan? Okay, so next class we're going to look into how to calculate mean okay, for group data. Okay, I think we're going to belajar banyak dah. Three subtopic for today. Okay, I think it's enough for you. Okay, so... Uh, I think that's all for me, okay? No homework for this session, okay? You just revise, okay? Pastikan paham balik, okay? Homework saya akan bagi next class, okay? So, that's all from me. Thank you very much.